Hey guys, it's me Abby and welcome back to my channel. So since alam niyo naman na kabalik ko lang from Turkey, um, I wanted to share with you guys yung na experience ko and the realize ko when it comes to packing my luggage and my hand carry. I think makatulong to sa inyo to save space and save money at the same time. Kasi you don't want to pay extra baggage para lang sa mga small gifts na bibilin mo from that place you went to. So before I start this topic, gusto ko muna mag-hello dun sa mga PUBG friends ko. Hello sa inyo, um, Jeff, Clinton, and Birdstone. Thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel. Hopefully, ma-share niyo tong videos ko and you keep on watching sa mga susunod ko pang videos. If you guys haven't clicked the notification button, please click nyo na yan para updated kayo sa mga vlogs ko. So if you guys want to know my tips, then please keep on watching. First of all, if you guys are gonna travel for two weeks, alamin yung muna kung anong bigat ng bagahe ang pwede mong dalhin. Kasi for me, Qatar Airways, I'm allowed to bring 30 kilos. Pwede isang malaking bagahe or dalawang bagahe as long as it's within 30 kilos. I suggest bring a large luggage like this. Kasi alam ko na bibili ako ng maraming gifts, souvenirs, and magsha-shopping ako sa Turkey. So I decided to bring the large one. When I tried fitting all my clothes and my stuff inside a medium-sized luggage, yeah, it fits perfectly. Lahat ng gamit ko kasha sa medium size. But there's no more space for me to put all my gifts, right? So I decided to go for the large one. And yeah, yun yung nangyari. Also, I think it's very important na hard case siya. Just in case that you buy something fragile, meron ka pa rin paglalagyan at hindi siya basta-basta mababasag. Kasi if cloth type yung luggage mo, kahit lagyan pa natin yan ng fragile sticker, alam naman natin kung paano mag-work ang mga tao sa airport, binabato-bato lang nilang bagay, so hindi siya safe. Masistress ka lang, if ever. Sayang naman yung bibili mo, di ba? So, my next tip is combine your outfits from head to toe. Ako kasi, I like to plan everything out. I match all my outfits on my itinerary. So, alam ko na kung saan ako pupunta. So, itong susuot ko on that day, itong susuot ko on that day. I think it's very important na you know what you're gonna wear. Kasi, if hindi, pag nandung ka na, tas nagmamadali ka, parang mag magagaral ka sa oras. Kasi nga, hindi mo alam kung anong gusto mong suotin eh. Kung ano ba, kung okay ba siya or whatever. Di ba, lalo na kung maarte ka when it comes to clothes, mahihirapan ka talaga. So, I suggest, i-prepare mo na siya para pag naligo ka and pag kuha mo, madali mo na siyang masusuot and you're ready to go. So, another tip is use a packing cube. Guys, I swear to God, this saved my ass so much. This is how it looks like. This is a packing cube and it fits all of my outfits. Not all of my outfits. Probably six to eight outfits you can fit here and makukumpra siya until makasave ka na space sa luggage mo, di ba? Um, I got this from Miniso and sobrang cheap lang niya. I think it's very worth it to invest on this type of storage kasi Guys, ang dami mong masisave na space. Kasi kung nakatiklop lang siya on your luggage, like, hindi siya compressed. Alam mo yun? At least ito, naka-plan out na. Like, for example, when I go to Istanbul, all of my Istanbul outfit is inside this packing cube. So, alam ko na kung saan ko kukunin yung damit ko. And also, yun nga, makakasave ka ng space. This is a must, I think, when it comes to packing your clothes sa luggage niya. This will save you. Trust me. Meron din siya actually na small size. Um, galing din to sa Miniso. Dito ko nilalagay yung mga bra ko, yung underwear ko, my 90s, and kasha lahat. So, I think you should get this also para nakahiwalay siya dun sa mga clothes mo. And hindi nakakalat yung mga bra mo and panty mo dun sa luggage, if ever. So, maganda na naka-organize talaga siya in this type of bag. Ito naman is a footwear bag also. Dito ko nilalagay mga sapatos ko kasi if plastic lang yung paglalagyan yan, it's not really safe. Especially, nagdadala ko ng heels so matutusok yung plastic, mabubutas, matatamaan yung iba kong gamit and madudumihan yung iba kong clothes if ever pagsasama ko siya sa isang bagay. So, I think it's very good na you invest on this type of bag para naman safe yung mga shoes mo. And also, another tip is bring a decent size 
toiletry bag. So itong toiletry bag na to, I got this again from Miniso. I think this is a perfect size when it comes to traveling for two weeks. I suggest to bring everything small size. Pumili kayo ng mga small containers to transfer all your skincare products. I actually bought uh, small size containers for my shampoo, for my toner, for my moisturizer. Everything about my skincare, I put it in a smaller container na kasha for two weeks. Kasi, trust me, if magdadala ka ng full size bottle ng lahat ng skincare mo, bibigat talaga ang bagay mo. And also, pag nasa plane ka, I suggest na bumili ka din ng small toothbrush, toothpaste, Tapos, maliit din na container with your moisturizer, facial wash. Kasi when you're up in the sky, your skin gets so dry. Maigi na na meron kang skincare na magagamit sa plane. And when it comes to makeup bag naman, just bring a small size makeup bag. Because trust me, you're not gonna need your full makeup set when you go to travel. Kasi one time I went to travel, I brought all my palettes, my my bronzer, my eye makeup palette na sobrang laki. I wasn't able to even use that. I just used the small size eyeshadow. So if you're on a hurry and you're gonna do your makeup, just do your normal makeup routine and just get like a small eyeshadow palette na perfect for day and night and you're good to go and two different lipstick na pwede sa pang araw and pwede sa pang party so i think this kind of makeup bag size is perfect i got this from dagny dover i'm gonna put the link down below so you guys can check out this type of makeup bag and another tip is if you're gonna bring a small luggage for carry-on um, make sure that you put all your valuables there it's either your camera your laptop anything that's valuable and I think it's really good that you bring a small luggage just in case you're overweight with your check-in baggages. Pwede mong ilagay yung iba mong gamit dun sa maliit mong bagahe. And my last tip for you guys, based on my experience, when I was in Cappadocia, I bought a small luggage para dun sa mga souvenirs and gifts na iuuwi ko. So, nagkamali ako dun kasi na-realize ko na 2 to 3 kilos na pala yung luggage na yun. So, parang Yung 3 kilos na yun, sobrang sayang. Baka magbayad ako ng extra baggage. So, I decided na bumili na lang ako ng box. Actually, I wasn't able to buy a box kasi nga, lahat ng cargo stores are closed every weekend. So, sobrang malas ko kung kailan pa alis ako, nagsara yung mga cargo stores. Wat ako sa grocery store and I asked for a small box. And thank God, there was a box na available kasi sobrang dami ko napuntahan before I even got that one. And then, ayun, manipis lang siya actually. But I was able to work with it. Nirap ko ng bubble wrap yung mga babasagin to make sure na hindi siya mababasag pagdating ng Pinas. And sinecure ko na maigi yung box ko with a lot of tape para kung matamaan man siya ng mga bagahe, hindi siya basta-basta mabubutas. So I suggest instead of putting everything sa luggage nyo, and I'm sure hindi na magkakasya lahat dyan, ilagay nyo na lang sa box instead of a small luggage. Kasi I know a lot of people buy a small luggage just to put all their stuff and they still pay for an extra baggage. Isipin nyo din, 3 kilos din yun. And 3 kilos is like what? If I have an extra kilo on my baggage, I have to pay $50. So that's too much. So Sobrang mahal nun for me. So that's why I decided na bumili na lang ng box and then make sure to ask when you check in your luggages, sabihin nyo na it's fragile para malagyan nila ng sticker. So thank God, hindi lahat nabasag yung mga pinamili ko. Maybe two or three small teacup yung nabasag but I think it's my fault also kasi hindi ko siya na-wrap ng maayos sa bubble wrap and manipis talaga yung box. So I just really wanna keep this video short. I just wanna share you some tips kung ano ba yung mga experience ko nung nag-travel ako. Hopefully may natutunan kayo and sana makatulong to on your next travel. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye!